But Skip, I will yep. start with Ooh, you. Thank you. What was your takeaway? Changing from your vote? Is that it? You know what? I got nothing out of this game last night. <laughs> the MVP battle was a big dud. <laughs> you big wanted more. Dud. You wanted more. It feels the, like the MVPs of this game were Coach Budenholzer and his staff <laughs> because, because they came up with a game plan by which I'd never seen James Harden defended that way or that successfully because they took Eric Bledsoe and George Hill and just had them jump on James' right. left hand, just like stand sideways and say, I'm sorry, you can't dribble left-handed. Right. They dogged him at the three-point line and just said, oh, you, you want to drive right-handed? Right. Just take the, the highway. Go right to the Go ahead. <laughs> shoot your little runners or whatever you want to shoot. And then Giannis, Brooke Lopez, whoever, would, would try to meet him in the middle of the lane because they were going to take the three away. And did they ever? He goes one for nine from three. Yeah. But even worse... Uh, Eric Gordon goes 0 for 5 from 3, and P.J. Tucker goes 1 for 8 from 3. So you got three starters who go 2 for 22. You're going to lose at Milwaukee yep. in that game. Final biggest picture takeaway on these two MVP candidates. I don't love either one of them in the postseason. What happened last night to me, mm -hmm. just step back, I don't trust either of these MVP candidates Big game, big stage, intangibles, their killer will, whatever that thing is, whatever that assassin is that mm -hmm. Jordan had, Kobe right. had, we can go on and on. KD has shown us in the biggest stages mm -hmm. and the NBA Finals, back-to-back -back MVPs. Both of them shrank under the magnitude of that game, a nationally televised, pretty big stage game, a late-season MVP matchup, the likes of which we may never have seen before, right? Mm -hmm. It was great. I was keyed up for it. Yep. And maybe they were both too keyed up because they shrank in the spotlight. I, go ahead. Uh, I agree with everything you said. If you went to this game and you thought Giannis was the MVP, you left the game saying Giannis is the MVP. If you went into this game saying James Harden is the MVP, you left this game saying James Harden is the MVP. But what it showed me is that if James Harden does not score 50, they can't win because more times than not, you're going to get – uh, P.J. Tucker, one for nine from the field. Eric Gordon was 0 for 7. So th those two guys were one for 16 overall from the field, one for 13 from the three-point line. J I mean, you know, James is going to have games like this. He'll have a game. He He's does. one for nine, he one for nine from the three-point line. Yep. He's three for 11. But he'll also have a game where he's 10 for 17 from the three-point line, and he dropped 61 on you. He has to be great. See, he can't be average. And this is an okay stat line. I mean, 23, 10, and 7. That's okay. But that's not good but enough for them. he was 9 for 26. But he, he's a volume shooter. You know. <laughs> but that, not that volume. No. Nope. Oh, well, we, we've <laughs> seen him go 11 for 38. Well, to, what I disagree with what you say is he has to get 50. Because in the, his six of their last 10 games, he's had below 30. They're 7 and 3 in those games. So, you got Chris Paul. You got Eric Gordon. You got Clint Gordon. Capella. Capella's played well. Yeah, you have. And Gordon is a very good player. He's, when he's healthy. He's streaky. he's streaky, but but he's a very good player. Yeah. And obviously, Chris Paul is who he is, even if he's declined a little bit. I, obviously, the MVP matchup was a dud. And I was with you. I was really <laughs> excited about it. Eric Bledsoe was the MVP. Yeah. But they may have given a blueprint of how for how to Maybe. defend Harden. Because you, you mentioned, like, when have you ever seen not only Harden, but any player – Defend it where you Stick just sideways. Right, you're so much on this side. It's one thing to, you know, go a little bit yeah. to that side, but they were like yeah, that. They were and then shading. they were standing sideways. Right. They were going to make sure he couldn't get yeah. to that left hand. Yep. And then they knew that even though he would go to the right, mm -hmm. when he got to the rim, he, he was going to come, come back. back to the left. And that's why Bledsoe and everybody was still swiping it because they know from behind. Right. He still doesn't yep. feel comfortable, right. even though he can lay it up with either hand. Mm -hmm. He wants to go to that ball dominant hand. And Bledsoe got hot in the third and went 16 yeah. straight. Bledsoe. I'm like, who is? Well, what you saw, look, Milwaukee, I don't think they're only the best team in the East. They, I would pick Golden State, but they've got to do some things that will give them problems because they're long. Bam. Remember, they beat Golden State in Oakland earlier in the season. They're 5-1 and one against Golden State, Houston, and Denver. Mm -hmm. I give they're, you props. You were on their bandwagon early. You were saying, watch out. Yeah. They're, the they're t now, you, you are right about both of these guys in the postseason. Now, Giannis, we haven't, he's young. We haven't seen enough yet. Harden, this is what he has to overcome. Yes. Like, his, his legacy, if they somehow win a championship or, or two or whatever, and he does it in the postseason, his legacy, we're talking about 
really skyrocketed. Yes, yes. You know, I don't know if he can get to Kobe Bryant's here. He'd have to win a lot to do that. But if he fails again in the postseason this year, because we've seen it time and time again, and, you know, if you want to – whether it's the usage rate, does he get fatigued in the playoffs, or is it mental? But, Chris, the thing is that I'm going to push back. He can lose. But he can't lose like how he lost no, to San Antonio. No, right, I agree. I he agree. can't lose by shooting two for 17 from the three-point line and scoring 15 points. Or taking lo- 11 right. shots or something or, like or, that. Or losing in a game seven. He can't turn the ball over 14 times in right. the playoffs like he did against Golden State or dribble the ball off of his foot. Those are the type plays that he's going to have to overcome in the Man, playoffs. I it's agree. just not going to be good enough. They're like, okay, you know what? If he plays well and they lose, the team plays better, you can live with that. But he's had some awful moments right. in the playoffs. I'm just saying if he wants to get to the higher level yeah, of the got, Kobe Bryant, then he's yeah. got to win. Yes, yes. Right now he's going to end up in that stage like Barkley and Ewing and, you know, below yeah. these guys that never have won. But he's you're right, he's got to play well. And Giannis, we just don't know. I, look, when he came to L.A., they had, what, 16 points a few weeks ago? Yes. Now, granted, he was injured. You know, there was some question of whether he was going to play. Right. You thought he wasn't even going to play. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if we can hold that against him. But we we have to see both of these guys in the big moments. Yep. But I'm telling you, Milwaukee, with their length. They tall. They, ooh, I middle think to they, they would freak, get – and they're physical mm-hmm. because you got Lopez with his size. Obviously, Bledsoe is physical. If they can get Brogdon back by then, and I mean, remember, you got to – Al Gasol's bump. just sitting down there in street clothes at the, right. the bench, and he's going to be back. Oh, yeah. What's yeah, this kid? Yeah. Is it from Notre Dame? Connaughton? Yeah. What's it? Connaughton. Connaughton? Yeah. Yeah. No, he's a good player. Whoa! Yeah. I'm like, whoa, whoa, look at <laughs> – Look well, at Billy Hall. Budenholzer's done a great job with that. Win I mean, look, they yeah. lead, they're second in the really league do. in three-pointers <laughs> made, third in the league in points in the play. I do think Giannis, because let's face it, a lot of people haven't seen him. They still haven't. You know, just because they're not on right. national TV a lot. And he showed you he brings the ball up the court half the time. Yeah. He can post up like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or something yeah. like that. He scores, obviously dunks on everybody. He defends. He drives and kicks. Like, he got dunked Once on. he gets that three, that three-pointer down, and it's improving. Capella, Capella hurt yeah, his feet. Yeah, Capella got Capri- it. Capri- <laughs> Capella hurt his feet last night. <laughs> I don't he know what him. he was thinking on that one. But, hey, when you, you, know when you... Yesterday, I finally said, I'm going to give in to James Harden. I just raved on, on the show yesterday right. about him. You were I, ready. I said, hey, he's doing things offensively yeah. I haven't you seen before. You put him before. in rare air. Well, because he's, he's performed been there. in rare air. Yeah. yeah. And then that happened yeah. last night. And I said, really? Because it would seem to me, even if you jump his left hand sideways, he's just going to torch you. He's right. just going to figure out a way over time. Okay. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Now, watch what he does. Now, the next team that play him, they're going to play that same way, and he's going to end up with 60. That's, you watch. It's going to be interesting. Because the first time, because he, no one is really, like you said, they shade him, but not just get, they get, they got two men removed outside of his left hand. They're sideways. Yes. Yeah. Say so you are not going to. You're and they not have the, the length. Yes. They can do that because, like you said, when he gets in the paint, they got length that can challenge. Come with, come Most with, teams don't have that. Exactly. So he'll figure. He'll figure it out. He, he's smart enough to know. But the thing that helps him is that if he has that three ball going, now you got to hug up on him. Right. That's when he can go around. You get to the paint, paint, and hit that floater. He gets that floater going, and the three. You, I think you have to think about this with the MVP vote. You know, like I said. The first two months of the season, they're under 500. Yeah. And Harden's playing every game. Chris Paul's playing every game. Capella was healthy at that point. The last 10 games, he's had six of them under 30, which still obviously isn't bad. But are we are we giving James Harden the MVP because of a 45, 50-game stretch? And, and then these outliers every two weeks where he goes for 60? I mean, that's, that, look, he's been great, but I'm just saying, Giannis has just been the steady offensively, yeah, no, defensively. It. Every night I'm giving it to you. Well, the the, the best thing, you know the best thing Milwaukee did? They kept Houston off the free throw line. Mm-hmm. James Harden Harden. the free throw line five times. Yeah, that was I mean, come on, James Harden averages about ten free throws a game. They shot seven as a team. Mm. That, that was, was the, that's maybe that's the biggest got, stat yes. of the game. That's what you got to do with them. The only thing James did well last night was he and his – partner in crime, they left at the buzzer that, that he and Chris Paul just oh, yeah. walked up right. the tunnel, and sure. I loved it. I applaud that because Why? I don't like to see him hugging and kissing after games. Oh, stop like, it, I, I don't want to see it. Really? It's like this league has gone wrong that way. 
Jordan didn't stand around after I the don't care the what he did. Remember that Jordan was upset when the Pistons just walked right out past them. Right. That, that was so in the playoffs. Yeah, in why? The play, why? In the if you don't like to see hugging and kissing, why was he up so upset that they didn't acknowledge them? Mm. Did you did you defend? Remember LeBron got a lot of heat yeah. against he, Orlando he, in but 2009. He Clock ran. Out. He, Is that what I don't, nah, no. he didn't. He just didn't go, didn't which I thought was ridiculous that they blew it. I didn't think it was a big deal like you. I mean, after a playoff loss, a tough loss, oh, he oh, didn't you mean go you're going all the way in back Orlando. Oh, going that's way a long back. time ago. But he I got since he when he left no. before the clock yeah, ran. No. Oh, that was like Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, that, that was like that was Phoenix bizarre. or somebody that he yeah, left. He was like, ran. yeah, yeah. But you, what the problem that I have with everybody? They forget the big three Celtics when the Pistons bad boys finally took them down. Look at Mikael. Paris and Bird. And he shake no hands, they walk right off the court. And the Pistons saw what they did. Okay, they did the same so thing in Chicago. Good. Oh, I can't they believe it. Worse. I they walked be- right past. Hey, but you're I, right. I, I, I they feel, caught heat. Isaiah came through that church. <laughs> you love it over there, Steve? You really like it that much? Mm. All right. I, I'm with you, though. I mean, we make too much out of it. If you shake hands, you don't. What's the big like, deal? It doesn't have to be every time. This, right. But okay. you know what, Chris? When we get here, we pass it. Hey, hey. We don't ride the elevator together. We don't say anything together, but in production meeting until we get here. I yeah. see Skipper. Really, I see Skipper. I see really Skipper. Awkward. The commercial is right. <laughs> no, yeah. no, that's dead serious. We, we filmed that in real time. That, that's what happened. Yeah. Really yeah. hard. Yeah. There ain't yeah. no, no conversation going on. Hey, I passed Skipper the hall. No one wants to talk to me, Chris. I just keep it myself <laughs> hey, in the morning. Hey, we broke that elevator at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we needed, cameras. Your game face. You guys game face. Before the show. 